Hi all, this is Laura from Tinker Meeple and welcome back to my newest playthrough, which is The Isle of Cats, designed by Frank West and published by the City of Games. I will today do the solo playthrough, playing against uh, the sister. And for those of you who are interested, actually the, the designer himself, Frank West, did a solo playthrough on his channel. So if you're interested, go and check it out. Spoilers, he's much better at the game than me, but I will take up the challenge and also play the game in the hard mode, which means that my sister, who I'm playing against, has five lesson cards, five goal cards, uh, for which she will get points depending on how I am going to play. But before we go into the detail and looking at these lessons, um, first, a few more information about the Isle of Cats. The Isle of Cats can be played by one to four players. There is an expansion that will allow you to play with up to six players. And it is our mission to save the cats from the island, to lure them onto our boat using fish before Lord Vesh arrives, which will give us exactly five rounds to save uh, all the cats that we can. Now, before we'll start with round number one, Let's look in detail at our sister's goals, at our sister's lesson tiles, which actually are quite tricky this time. First, she has stolen secrets, which means that she gets four points per covered treasure map of mine. So if I can, I want to avoid covering the treasure maps. She'll also get three points per common treasure. Uh, which is too bad, because I like to play with treasures, filling up rooms, and uh, I'll probably won't be able to do so in this game. Then she also gets three points per filled room, and I get minus points if I don't fill the room. So this is a little contradicting. Um, then she has glamorous five points for each color cat, where you do not have at least one cat of that color touching the edge of your boat, so I want Cats touching the edge of all different colors. That's quite all right. That's doable. And then we have humble 10 points if you have less than nine treasures. So, so she will get 10 points if I have less than nine treasures. But on the other hand, she gets three points per common treasure. So these goals are a little contradicting and uh, tricky to work with. In the optimal case, I actually would have nine rare treasures on the boat because then she does not get any points per common treasure and she won't get points for this card, but I don't think that's possible. So let's see how I will work my way around it. I definitely won't take too many common treasures. These give her too many points. Um, so I'll probably take no common treasure and just work with the rare ones and maybe just bear with her getting the 10 points for this lesson card. This, as I mentioned, definitely doable, as are these two, because if I leave the maps open, then most rooms won't be filled. So she won't score these two cards that much. But that also means that I would get minus points for empty rooms at the end of the game. So I have to take that into account too. So maybe I'll try to fill up a few rooms, but not all of them. Let's see how it will turn out. I'm not quite sure yet. All right. And with this, we more or less know what our sister is getting scored for. We also know that for her blue cats on our boat will score five points. So for each blue cat I have on my boat, she gets five points. Other cats will be less valuable for her, but we don't know yet which cats are worth less or the least. For now, let's focus on not taking too many blue cats. Let's start with round one. And the first step is taking 20 fish, with which I will buy cards and lure the cats onto my boats. In the second step, I'll take five cards from which I'm allowed to keep three. Let's see, what do we have here? We have three lessons. I really like this one. 12 points and there are no empty spaces at the edge of your boat. I want to have cats at the edge, so this works together quite well. Let's keep this one. Let's also keep this basket, so I will be able to 
rescued two cats this round. Then I have one point per two cats touching the edge of the boat. That makes also sense because I want lots of cats touching the edge of my boat. These two cards go away. Again, five new ones and I'll keep three. Seven points if you have exactly six lesson cards. I'm not sure about that. Maybe I'll have more. One fish for each common treasure on your boat. Doesn't make sense. I don't want any common treasure on my boat. So these two cards go out. Let's just keep the other three, even though I'm not sure if I will keep them permanently. For now, they'll go here. And the seventh card, I'll just draw it. And now let's look into detail which of these cards we're going to keep and pay for with fish and which we are going to discard. So we'll definitely keep these two lessons. And what's this? All players get five points per treasure map they have not covered. This actually is really good because she... What was her goal again with the treasure maps? Four points per covered treasure map. So if I do not cover a treasure map, I actually gain nine points. Five points here and she does not get four points. So this is a really good lesson for me. I'll definitely keep the basket. I'll keep this for later so that I will gain more fish at, towards the end of the game. I don't need this. How about this lesson? 12 points if both captain's rooms are full. That's also a nice one, but rather difficult to achieve. But let's keep it for now. So I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 fish to pay. So each of these is worth 5 fish, so I don't have too many fish lying around. I pay 11, so 15 paid, 4 back, and now let's put this over here, it's my second basket, and I'll just place all my lessons over here. Ra wow, it's only round one and I have already 4 lessons to work at, and one of these. All right. Um, before we will draw the cats for that are available for saving in round one, let's take a look at what our sister is going to do in round one. So she has two basket, two baskets and a speed of three, which means she will be able to rescue the first cat. Now the cats are coming up. Eight all in all. Four of them cost three fish and the other four five fish to lure onto our boat. But before we go on, it's our sister's turn. So she takes cat number two and this common treasure. So these go out of the game and they are unavailable to me. Now it's my turn. Um, with this basket, let's see. I would like to avoid the blue cat because it's worth five points for the sister i think i'll go with this green cat and start so i'll pay the three fish for it one two three which leaves me with six fish and i will place it like this over here so I'm, it is at the edge of the boat, which is good for my lessons and for the sisters' lessons. And also I started up filling this captain's room. Here's one and here's the other one. And I did not cover that map with the green cat because I don't want to get any common treasures. All right, now it's my sister's second turn. She takes cat seven and a small common treasure. There's no seven, so she'll take cat number six. And that was her last turn for this round. And now I'll rescue the second cat. Let's see which one are we going to rescue. This one, the violet man, maybe over here. I don't want to give away too many fish at the moment. There's no reason to take any of these instead of this one that's cheaper 
So let's do that. Paying three fish. I'll take this violet cat. And place it over here. Again, at the edge of the boat. Uh, filling up this captain's room. Alright. And with this, round one is nearly over. If I wanted to, I could play this card. I would gain two fish. Which doesn't make sense because I paid two fish for it. So I will wait until I have more different colored cats on my boat before I play this card. And thus the round is over. Let's discard the remaining cats. They are not available to us for rescue anymore. And move on to the second round. And let's reveal the second color that's valuable to my sister. So for purple cats she will get four points. Alright, I have one purple cat, so four points for her, but that's okay. This refreshes. I get 20 fish again. So now I have 23 fish to work with. Let's take five cards again. And then keep three of these. Nine points if you have exactly five treasures on your boat. No, thank you. I'm not a fan of treasures this game. Mm. Let's keep this draw two cards. Let's also keep this. Discard any two plate lesson cards and gain one permanent basket. And keep this half basket. Alright. Second five cards. Ooh. Two Oshaks. I really like those. Those are the wild cats. So you can assign them any color you want, which is very helpful. So let's definitely take both of these, even though they are quite expensive. I think it's still worth it. And then I don't want treasures. I don't really need speed. Let's keep this half basket. And then the last one another half basket all right which of these cards am i going to keep i'll keep this one it's for free i'll keep this in order to get a permanent basket later i'll keep the two o shacks which means i'm already at 12. i don't need three of these so let's discard this one 12 14 15. all right I have to pay 15 fish for these cards. I'll put the basket here. So again, for this round, I have two baskets to work with. And I'll just put all the others down here. Okay. And I have eight fish left to lure cats again onto my boat. Before we do that, let's see what our sister is going to do. Wow, she has four baskets this round. But fortunately, I have more speed than her, so I can go first at least. One, two, ooh, a rare treasure. Three, four. Again, a rare treasure. One, two. Wow. Lots of treasures coming up and lots of blue cats, which I don't really want as they are too valuable to our sister but i want at least one blue cat right because she gets five points for each color cat where you do not have at least one cat of that color touching the edge of your boat but then i suppose if i take one blue it's five points for her if i don't take a blue she'll get five points for this lesson card so it doesn't really matter so i can focus on other colors instead so let's not take a blue cat at all and just let her take five points for this now then where should we begin i have eight fish available so i could buy one cat i could lure one cat from this side as well as one cat from this side let's start over here and take how about this yellow cat Yes, I think I'll go with the yellow cat first. One, two, three. 
let's lure her onto our boat and place her at the edge where we want her. Wonderful. This isn't too bad. And then it's my sister's turn, so she takes cat number two as well as this treasure out of the game. Alright, I have to discard these. And now it's my second turn. And I think I would love to have a green cat touch this green cat so that they form a family at one point or the other. But I don't want to cover this green map with a green cat. Can I place this somehow? Like this maybe? But then this space is free. Is there something I can put in here later? Maybe a rare treasure if they are still there later? Mm, not quite optimal. I think I'll go with the red cat. Why not? I'm not yet sure what red cats are worth for the sister. But at least it's not 5 or 4 points. Let's go with this red cat for the 5 fish. So I have no fish remaining. And place it over here. Covering the map. Which gives her 4 points. But I'm aiming to fill up the captain's rooms. Which will ultimately give me 12 points. And also I have my 4th cat at the edge of the boat. So all 4 colored cats are now at the edge of the boat. Which is very good for this goal, so she's not scoring too much points with this lesson card. And I have also no common treasures on my boat yet, and only one covered treasure map so far, and no filled room yet. Alright, so this was my second rescued cat. I can no longer rescue any cat, but my sister's turn is not over yet, so she takes cat 6 as well as the rare treasure 3 out of the game and also this common treasure and cat 1 as well as cat 2 and 5 so let's just take all out i cannot rescue any cat anymore anyway so it doesn't concern me and that's that all right how about if i will now play in oshacks There are some nice Oshaks out there. How about this one over here? No, it doesn't fit. How about this one? Does this fit this way? No. How about this one? No, not either. Mm, nope. Too bad. They do not really fit well in there. Which I was kind of hoping for. So for now I will not play in Oshex yet. I will not discard any lesson cards, I won't draw cards, I have no fish to spend anyways, but I can actually now play this card. I'm not planning on getting any blue cats on my boat, so four fish for this card is the most I can get, which I would get right now, so let's do that. And take four fish for that card. Alright, and with this round two is over. Let's go on to round number three. All right, so here red cats, we now know red cats are worth three points for the sister. All right, let's take our 20 fish and draw the first five cards. Uh, so actually right now I want two lesson cards that I can discard to get the second permanent basket. So I'll take the lesson cards, even if I'm, especially if I'm not interested in them. And take one basket. Alright. Next five. Ooh, I like those. So I need rare treasures. Those are worth points to me, actually. 
and no points for the sisters. So let's take these two. As well as this card, it might be valuable because with this card I can place my next cat or treasure anywhere on the boat. Which means it's much easier to reach this side of the ship to fill up this captain's room too. So let's take this one and then draw the final one which is a half basket. Alright, what am I going to keep? I think the choice is clear this time. So I keep these and just discard this half basket, which I have no need for. So all in all, I have to pay 10 fish, 2, 4, 6, 8, yes, 10 fish, which leaves me with 14 fish this round, which is quite a lot. Place this over here, as well as these two rare treasure cards, which I will be able to play later. Oh, this refreshes. And I have these two lesson cards. Okay, and now I can play this anytime. I will discard these two lessons and get a second permanent basket. So I will now be able to rescue three cats this round. Awesome. Alright, what's our sister going to do this round? She also has three baskets. And a speed of 1, as do I, but as I had been the first one to rescue cats last round, I will be the first one again, because we have the same speed. Let's see what cats are available for rescue. Lots of yellow cats. Uh, lots of orange, excuse me, it's not yellow, it's orange cats. Violet and green cats. So, I know that... These two are going to be green and orange, so green and orange are the best for me to take. They are worth only one or two points to my sister, which is kind of great. Let's start with the orange cat over here for three fish, because I think it will fit nicely in that space over here does it not how about this way Ooh. okay not optimal no let's put it somewhere else let's put it over here this way i can cover some reds reds will be minus points at the end of the game so i don't want any visible reds but it will not cover the map so this way it's fine. Again, I have one more cat at the edge of the boat and I tried working on this orange family. All right. Now the sister, she takes cat five and rare four. One, two, three, four, five, this violet one. All right. Now my next rescue is going to be another yellow cat. Let's take this one for three fish. And now I have a choice of placing it here like this. Or placing it here like this. But I'll probably go with this. Work my way towards the other side of the boat, along the edge. Yes, that doesn't look so bad. That was my second rescued cat. And now my sister's turn again. She takes cat three, this violet one, as well as this common treasure. All right, and now I'm allowed to rescue the next cat, which is going to be should I go with a green cat? How does this fit here? Let's see. Because I want to connect it with the first green cat I've played. That would work. Yes, let's go with it. So I'll pay five fish for this green cat. It's a little more costly, but I think it's worth it. And place it over here like this. So my 
First, Captain's room is nearly filled, only this one space is left, which I'll surely be able to fill up either with a treasure or with another cat. Alright, that was my last rescue for round 3. And my sister takes cat 4 and 5, which I don't really care about, all are discarded as I'm not rescuing anymore. Alright, rescue phase is over, and now I can... Oh, I should have discarded this card because I played it. I played, discarded two lesson cards and gained a permanent basket. So um, I have these cards left. Let's take the one rare treasure that's still available as long as it's there. And place it over here. And by this, I have filled up the first captain's room. And it's a rare treasure, so it won't give any points to my sister. And then I have three fish left. Let's draw two cards and see if they are useful. Wow. I would have been able to get a third permanent basket if I only had six fish, which I can't. So let's just keep this one for free. Okay, that wasn't that useful, but no harm done. Am I going to play an Oshax now? Is there a good Oshax available for me? Yes, I see one that fits quite perfectly, so I'll do that. I'll play an Oshax, I'll take this one over here and place it right into that spot to cover up the red and i will make it hmm, yellow or green which one is better let's make it a green oshex all right i'll spare this oshex for later uh, I might have to use it due to a certain lesson card I'm coming up with, or I prefer a certain color towards the end. So let's keep this Oshex for, Oshex for now. And go on to already round number four. I've played three-fifths of the game already. There isn't much time left, and I still have to fill up this captain's room and cover some of the reds, as well as uh, place some cats along the edges if I can. Round four. Okay, so orange cats are worth two points for the sister. That's okay. So that means that this one is green and green cats are only worth one point. So I'll try to wrap up more green cats in these two rounds. These two refresh. I get my 20 fish. And we'll go on with the exploration phase. Nine points if you have exactly five purple cats on your boat. No, thank you. Two fish for each Oshex on your boat. Small tre no, no small treasures. Thank you very much. So let's keep these three for now, even though I'm not sure if I'm really going to buy them. Ooh, I like... Oh, I can't do it anymore. Oh, that's too bad. This would have been awesome at the beginning of the game. So 18 points if both bedrooms are empty. One of them still is and the other one is already filled up. So this card is no use to me. This one would be nice. One fish for each lesson card in front of me. And these are all the same. So we keep those discarded and draw the seventh card. Gain two fish for each rare treasure on your boat. Alright. Which of these am I going to keep? I'll keep these three in order to get more fish for the last round. And I'll keep this one so I'll be able to rescue three cats this round. Let's discard all of those and pay the eight fish we need to pay. Which leaves me with 15 fish. Alright. These go over here. Exploration phase is finished. 
uh, no lessons to read, so we go on to rescuing cats. Let's see what our sister does. Four baskets, wow. Um, that's a lot. And she has a speed of four, so this round she will start first. A rare treasure. Another rare treasure. I hope one of those will stay. Ooh, that's nice. Until the end of the round so that I can get it. Okay. So, sister starts. Cat 1 is taken out as well as Oshex 5. Too bad about the Oshex. Um, now it's my turn. Discard the basket and take a cat. And let us start with an orange cat. There's no green cat available. I would have loved to rescue a green cat to continue here. Um, as I am not able to do that, I'll go with the yellow, uh, with the orange cats and put one over here at the edge of the boat for three fish again my sister's turn switch cat two and cat five okay i can do that and then she takes cat number one i actually had eyed cat number one which would have fit perfectly around here to cover these reds um, it's not available anymore this one no would leave a hole so i'll probably go with this orange cat next i could place it here that looks good let's do that paying three fish for this orange cat growing this orange family of cats it's already five cats which will be 15 points at the end of the game if i can i would like to make them an even bigger family let's see if that will work out but first it's my sister's turn she gets one of these common treasures and cat number four so i had rescued two yellow cats two orange cats um orange red or blue the red does not fit here anyways so let's go with the orange again which this time costs me five fish and place it this as i said doesn't make sense it would leave this hole which i don't like I want to cover reds, so let's go with this. This way I'm covering three of the reds. Alright, and my sister's last turn. She takes two cats again. All cats have been rescued this round from the aisle. Rescuing cats is over. And now I'm allowed to play cards if I want to. I'll first take a rare treasure. And I'll go with this one. And actually play this card. So place your next cat or treasure anywhere on your boat. Because this way I can nicely fill up this captain's room and not worry about it anymore. So... My very first lesson card is complete. I get 12 points. Uh, 12 points, this one is it, sorry. 12 points if both captain's rooms are full. So now I can concentrate on the other goals. So I have lots of cats touching the edge. I have only covered one map because I had to because of the captain's room. I won't cover any more maps if I can. 
and I have 12 points if there are no empty spaces at the edge of my boat. This will be hard to achieve in only one round left. But maybe, maybe I will be able to do it. Um, should I play an Oshax now? Is there one that fits well? Actually, there is. Let's try this out over here. I could place it here, covering up all these ugly rats and playing it nice at the edge of the boat. Yes, let's go with that. So I play the Oshex card and make this cat an orange cat to further expand this wonderfully growing orange family. All right, I have four fish left. Um, I think it's time to gain some fish. So I'll gain two fish for each rare treasure, which means four fish. I have two rare treasures on the boat. Same goes for the Oshax. I have two Oshax on the boat, so four points for those. And four fish again. Gain one fish for each lesson card in front of you. Wonderful. And then I will draw two cards and see if something awesome comes up. Ooh, I actually like both. Let's keep this because it doesn't cost anything. And let's also keep this lesson card. So four points per family of four or more cats on your boat. I already have the orange family, which is big enough to score these four points. If I can only get one more green cat here, this lesson card will be eight points. So we'll keep it and pay the two fish. So I'll get three fish back. And that's it for round number four. We go on to the very last round of the game. Round five, as we already knew, green cats are worth one point to the sister. These are refreshed. We start getting 20 fish. One, two, three, four. So all in all, I have 34 fish available for this round, which is awesome. So I'm Hopeful that I can rescue lots of cats. Let's see what our cards hold for us. Discard one permanent basket, gain five. Doesn't really make sense at the end of the game. I'll definitely keep this half basket to have a full basket with that. Discard any two played lesson cards to gain a permanent one. No, not at this point in the game. And then what about this 10 points if you have no visible rats on your boat? There are a few left, but I could manage to hide all of them. Actually, to reach this is definitely possible. Much more so than having no empty spaces at the edge. So I might work towards this goal in this round. And 7 points if you are first in turn order at the end of the game, which would need that I would have to wrap up some speed in this round. Maybe the cards were... Ooh, and the cards gave it. So let's keep this as well as the Oshax. Uh, no, nine points for exactly five records. No, thank you. And then five points, pick a color. Five points if they have three or more cats of the chosen color on their boat. Mm. Should I take the five points or should I take the basket? As it is right now, I can rescue three cats and have an Oshek, so four more cats. With this, it would be five. And I get more speed. Let's keep this basket. I'll throw this lesson away. And the last card another basket wow all right so we'll keep this definitely also the two lesson cards five ten eleven fourteen 
14. Should I keep this or does that make sense? No. Let's let's discard. I'm probably not able to rescue five cats this round. So I'll discard this. So I have to pay 14 fish for these cards. Got two more lessons. Let's put it over here. More baskets. And lots of speed. And my Oshex. Alright. Well, let's see what my sister is going to do. And she only has three baskets and two speed. So yes, I am first in turn order for the last round as I have eight speed. So I'll start first. Um, I can discard this first and discard one basket. Um, oh, the cats. The cats were missing. Let's see. Ooh, I don't want blue cats. I want, yes, green or orange cats. All right. I'll start with the green cat over here for three fish. It just fits perfectly over here, covering the reds as well as expanding. Oops. Come on. The tile does not really want to get placed. All right, this way. And covering the two reds over there. Great. And now it's my sister's turn. She takes cat two and rare two. The second cat I am going to rescue is going to be... What is it going to be? I would love to have this green cat. But I cannot place it in here to cover that red. So should I take another cat instead? How about the orange one? Yes, let's rescue this cat next for five. And place it here. Covering up that red. All right, it's my sister's turn. Cat three and Oshex three. Ooh, so she took one of the available Oshex away. Now it's back to me. And I have a few more reds to cover up. Can I somehow do that elegantly? I want this green cat. And if I can, I want it to cover that red, but also let it touch this family. And it looks horrible, but I'll actually be able to do it. So let's place it over here. It touches the green family is now one, two, three, four, five. Uh, cat's big and I covered that red that leaves me with only these two reds and also this green cat is at the edge so that worked out really well that was the third rescued cat and she takes the last rare treasure as well as this cat over here and with my final turn I'm taking this violet cat for three fish and we'll place it over here to cover the last remaining reds on my boat wonderful and that is it the rescuing phase is over all that's left for me is to play my Remaining Oshex card. And which Oshex am I going to take? How about this one? Or rather this one? I want it to be at the edge of the boat if I can. Does it 
fit over here? Yes, it does. Wow. Okay, I'll place it here and make it an orange cat. Because that's worth the most points. And with this, now the game is completely over. Lord Vesh arrived. We've saved as many cats as we could. So let's see who did better, me or my sister. Let's take... First, a look at my sister's points. So for this lesson card, four points per covered treasure map. She will get four points. I have one treasure map covered and four are still available. So four points, three points per common treasure. She, I don't have common treasures at all, so no points there. Three points per filled room which I have two of. I have filled both captain's rooms. All other rooms have at least one space uh, left open. So she sh gets two times three, six points. So she's at 10 points right now. 10 points so far. Uh, then for this one, she gets five points as I'm missing the blue cat at the edge of my boat. So 15 points. And 10 points if you have less than 9 treasures. Uh, so she's at 25 points. Now let's look at our boat. No blue cat, so she doesn't get any points here. 2 violet, 2 purple, excuse me, 2 purple cats. Which means she gets 8 points, so she's at 33. 1 red cat, so she's at 36. 36 and now orange cats. Okay, well, let's let's count these. I have quite a lot of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which is 18 points. So 36 plus 18 is 54. 54 and now the green cats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 54 plus 5 is 59. So the overall score of my sister is 59, which is not much at all. I think I have really good chances to win this game. Let's see if I'm right or not. 59 for my sister. Uh, let's put that here so I won't forget it. Oops. All right, 59. Now my score. So I'll get minus one for each visible red. No reds visible. Rooms. So uh, for each room that has not been filled up, minus five points. So I start with minus 20. That hurts a little. This room, this room, this and this uh, have not been completely filled up. So minus 20. I'm off to a bad start, but I think I can make up for it. Then the cat families. Let's look at those. I have a green cat family of 5, which is worth 15 points. And I have an orange cat family of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wow, which is worth 35 points. And the other cats are alone, so no family there. Then rare treasures worth three points. I have two of those, so that's six. And now let's go on to my lessons, which I have quite a lot of. Let's see which ones I was able to accomplish. I definitely accomplished the one with the reds in the very last round, so 10 points here. I have 12 points because both captain's rooms are full, so that's 12 points. Then let's go on with this one first. It's easier. Five points per treasure map they have, I have not covered. So I have four visible treasure maps. That's 20 points. I was first in turn order at the end of the game. I had eight speed. So seven points here. Four points per family of four or more cats on my boat. So I have two families that are that big, which is eight points. Then, unfortunately, this one I wasn't able to get. Um, I have lots of empty spaces at the edge of my boat, so this one I didn't complete. And then I have this one, one point per two cats touching the edge. 
let's see how many we have with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 so that's five points for this lesson card which is the last points i get in this game let's wrap these points up quickly all right and actually i've won with quite a big margin i did really well better than i actually expected myself so i got 98 points 98 sweet points in comparison to the 59 points that my sister got so it might have seemed that the game was easy even though i played it with hard mode having five lessons uh, lesson cards for my sister but it is still tricky it also really depends on what lesson cards are coming up for the sister and what cats you um, at the beginning start to wrap up because i was actually lucky i started with the green and the orange cats which turned out to be less valuable for my sister if by chance I had started with the purple or the red, um, this might have looked quite differently. And that's it. That was my solo playthrough of the Isle of Cats. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and give my video a thumbs up. And also go and check the game out for yourself, available on Tabletopia. I hope to see you back for my next playthrough. Until then, please stay well, take care and bye bye.